1st. 1865, approximately three weeks after the uh, Confederate surrender at Appomattox Courthouse. Thousands of women, freedmen, including about 3,000 children, enter the Charleston race course in Charleston, South Carolina to honor the Union soldiers who died in the converted Confederate prisoner of war camp. Buried in a mass grave, 257 men. This event becomes known as the first major event honoring those who gave their lives for this country. How are y'all doing? Happy Memorial Day. Today is the day that we uh, honor those that Defended our freedom and never made it back. The holiday that we know as Memorial Day takes the truth back in the Civil War. Now predominantly in the South after each battle, the women near the battlefield would, uh, would go lay flowers upon the graves of the soldiers that had died. Eventually this becomes an annual tradition. Uh, it was organized by the women's groups in the communities, usually also attended by the freedmen. And it continues even after the war ends. Now we forward to May 5th, 1866, in the town of Waterloo, New York. A predominant pharmacist who was too old to serve and fight in the Civil War wants to do something to remember those who passed. And he brought a solution to the town clerk, or county clerk, who went to the town of Waterloo and was able to get the community to agree. So this took place on May 5th, it was a Saturday, all the businesses that were in the town were closed. The veterans the dressed in uniform and they had a parade through the town accompanied by bands that played military music. The houses were draped in black cloth. Now this processional through Waterloo, it stopped at all three of the town cemeteries where speeches were given and the town laid down flowers and flags to honor those that gave their lives. This became the first event that was actually a community-wide event. In 1966, President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the House Concurrent Resolution 587, officially making Waterloo, New York the birthplace of Memorial Day. Now, two years later, on May 5th, 1868, Major General John Logan of the Grand Army of the Republic, which was a Union veterans group, he made a plea that the whole nation celebrate and honor those that gave their lives. The first Decoration Day, as General Logan uh, referred to it, was held in Arlington National Cemetery and was presided over by President Ulysses S. Grant. Notably, a speech was given by General James Garfield. And at the ceremony, over 5,000 people decorated the graves of over 2,000 Union and Confederate soldiers. The call to honor those that gave their lives was felt throughout the country. By 1890, each and every state had its own official decoration day to be held May 30th of every year. Now as time passed, what was originally intended for the Civil War soldiers that gave their lives, eventually that it was expanded to include those of World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, all the way up until today's wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. And as time has passed, Traditions have been added, most notably the 
reading of Flanders Field. It was actually a poem written during and after World War I. In 1968, Congress signed the Uniform Monday Holiday Act, which basically stated that as of 1971, the last Monday of May was going to be a federal holiday to be known as Memorial Day replacing Decoration Day by the states and therefore giving, being the last Monday it gave federal federal employees, thus state employees, government employees, a three day work week to celebrate and honor those that gave their lives. A hundred years after the first celebrated Decoration Day, it finally became a national holiday. today marks the unofficial start of summer people get together they grill they barbecue open their pools visits the parks and I know currently that's hard to do with the pandemic pandemic that we're suffering ceremonies have been cut back in my local area there have actually moved some of the ceremonies to a virtual ceremony but I still call on everybody to remember why we have this day, so I just want everybody to take a moment. Traditionally at 3 o'clock on Memorial Day is a national moment of silence. Let's not take for granted those that gave our lives. I hope everybody watching this video took something and learned something from it. I'm kind of thinking that's how my videos are going to be going from now on. Put out a little a little bit of history, a little bit of knowledge. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs, give the video a thumbs up, and please, please uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bells. I've got some other videos in the work. I'm hoping to upload about once a week for right now. Be safe this Memorial Day weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.